record. We're good for video. What up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages? We're not going live. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to go live? Hi, anyways. We didn't set it up for live. No, nah, it's cool. Oh, okay. It's cool. It's kind of late. Seven o'clock. Yeah, it's all right. Whatever. All right. Well, in that case, let's go live for the podcast in three, two, one. Welcome to another episode of Business Bros. Ladies. What was that? Oh, sorry. I, I don't know. I, I did it earlier. Business bros. Because I was by myself. I was like, business bros. Business bros. And then I, I don't know why I just did it right now. I should have went, bros. But <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. It happens. It happens. Are you tired, man? Is that what it is? No. I mean, we are here a little bit late for uh, those of you who are listening. Uh, this episode will air on Thursday. Most Wednesday, likely Thursday, something like that. So, uh, but we are here on a Tuesday evening, seven o'clock. Uh, Hernan already recorded one episode for the podcast all by uh, own earlier this afternoon by himself. He wasn't sure if I was going to come by. Uh, I did take the day off from work to visit the Balboa Park Museums. Those of you who are San Diego residents, very highly recommend that you take the time to check out those museums. It's pretty awesome, and uh, I'll especially tell you a little on bit. Free Tuesdays, especially specifically on Free Tuesdays. So every Tuesday, or I should say, four Tuesdays a month: the first, second, third, and fourth Tuesday. If there's a fifth Tuesday, ain't there's no free museums except for the ones that are always free, which are the Timken and the Botanical Gardens. Um, but anyway, definitely recommend it. On those free Tuesdays, if you are a San Diego resident, go check it out. It's uh, it's good to get a little culture in you. Yeah, I got a little cultured. <laughs> got a little cultured, yeah. Uh, and you know what? Since we're already talking about it, um, I saw a really cool piece today that uh, I want to buy. That you want to buy? Like I want to buy. A piece of artwork? A piece of artwork that I want to buy. It is called... Uh, shoot, I can't look it up because it's on my phone, which is right there can you describe it though it is um in the center there is a pencil drawn person and be honest the person kind of looks a little bit like me he's got this chin strap going you know and he's got some good hair you know so you look in the mirror a little bit look in the mirror a little bit and he is arms outstretched flying taking on the world taken on the world you can see that he's flying and the um he's got the iron man look i wouldn't go so far as iron man because iron man's gonna have his hands behind him Mm -hmm. right and he has arms out like but he has arms out yeah like he's just flying through the air like icarus um and it is so it's that's like in the center and it's it's pencil drawn and there is this spiral that is created from layers upon layers of paper being cut, like Sliced hand up. cut, hand cut. Like you know when you when you hand uh, rip a piece of paper, it's like yeah, it has uh, a little wavy, ripples on the end. It has ripples yeah, and yeah. stuff, and like it doesn't necessarily tear, uh, cleanly. tear cleanly. So like some parts are a little yeah, bit like thinner. Paper fibers. Yeah, so it's like that, and it creates this look of clouds. So it really looks like this person is just flying in the clouds. And I may not have told you this, but I was uh, very, very inspired by Captain Marvel. Well, you want to fly in the clouds too and destroy armadas with one fell swoop? Well, yeah, that would be awesome, <laughs> first of all, to be that freaking powerful. Uh, but no, actually, the, the thing that uh, inspired me the most was one quote. Which is? Higher, further, faster, baby. Higher, further, faster. Higher, further, faster. And so something that um, that I found, I guess, through through my meditation process. By the way, I did answer yes to your do you meditate question on Insta today. Uh, something that I found through my meditation process, and it was very likely inspired by Captain Marvel, is that my my inspiration, my inner being, the the best part of me is named Pegasus. See, yeah, you're all flight. I'm all flight, but dude. But I, I really don't consider you a flyer, more what? as a Buzz Lightyear, like f- falling with style. Oh, come <laughs> on, get out of here. I am Iron Man all the way through and through. I just I just never saw you taking to the clouds. Or, or I see you flying out of things and coming down like in like parachuting and like cliff diving. I kind of like, fly on my motorcycle. 
Yeah, you do. You kind of fly on the Harley. That's a like bit. a ride, though. No, that's, that's like a, a ride. Fly. Oh man, I don't know what it's like because I wouldn't uh, do that. But. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it, dude. Like, so so speaking of that whole inner being thing, um, and higher, further, faster is in those moments when and and we've had this discussion before when I'm feeling down, like I'm 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 not feeling at my best when I feel like you know uh, the weight of the world is on me. I I have this this realization like this is not how Pegasus feels. This is not how my inner being feels. This is not how the best part of me feels. The best part of me is saying higher, further, faster. Like don't look at that stuff that you're concerned about. Don't look at that stuff that you're worried about. Don't look at those things that are unwanted in your life because the higher, further, faster are the things that you want in your life. Look at the things that you want in your life. Concentrate on the things that you want in your life. Feel how good it would feel. Understand how good it would feel to have those things that you want. So a perfect example is this art piece that I loved. Absolutely loved it. I have never until today gone to a museum and seen a piece of artwork where i'm like i want that do they even sell them yes oh this particular piece at the san diego art institute is for sale for how much do you guess it would be i don't know art it's, is it's, so, it's art yeah exactly art is so like randomly priced mm-hmm. like i have no idea i'm, I'm gonna go take a like, guess i don't know 50 grand when I saw that there was a price book, I was expecting something like that as well. And two thousand dollars. Still a lot for a piece of art. <laughs> That's nothing. <laughs> I, well, because it has a, a, a value to you. Exactly. Because it has spoken to you. Mm-hmm. Right. That stuff doesn't speak to me. Like I, you walk around my house, I don't have even pictures on my wall. Yeah, like, you ain't even got pictures of your kids. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. Some, it, somebody's gonna come over. And, uh, somebody's gonna comment. The hell, you ain't got pictures of your kids. What's wrong with you? Man, don't don't worry. I don't have pictures of anybody. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have commitment issues when it comes to putting things up on the wall. Great for staging. Great for staging. Great for staging. Every time people come over, like, oh, you just bought the place. <laughs> 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 no, I've been here a while, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but. It has a sentimental value to you, so so that's why it's it's grown. Like you, you're for you. It's not the value of the two thousand dollars that they're asking for. It's the motivation that it brings you when you look mm, at it. Exactly. You know what I mean. Exactly. So those good feelings, right? The so there's there's two things. Every everything that you desire in life has two sides to it. It's the thing that you want, and it's the lack of the thing that you want. And most people, when they are chasing their dreams and they're, you know, going after one thing or another, very often are focused on the lack of what they want. And that is a big reason why they don't get what they want, because they focus on the lack of it. I want to make more money. I want to make more money. I want to make more money. Why do you want to make more money? Because I don't have enough. Because I don't have enough. Because I don't have enough. Right. And so you're looking at that lack of money and that's what's driving you to try and make more money. You're telling yourself you don't have enough the whole time. Exactly. So you never have enough. Law of attraction, right? The law of attraction isn't that you attract what you want. It's that you attract attract what you think about. So even though you're pursuing all these things and doing all these things because you want to make more money, the thing that's driving you is the lack of money. And if that is your motivation, if that's your, uh, you know, if that's where where your where your point of attraction is. You're just going to continue to attract not enough money. So taking that into the piece of art, right? This piece of art, I could go the rest of my life and never own it and whatever. It doesn't affect me. But when I sat there and I thought about how it made me feel, so I really, I I envisioned it, right? So I sit there and I'm uh, just walking around uh, Balboa Park and I'm like, you know what? I would love that piece of artwork in my studio as soon as I open the door on the right side just past the little hallway thing uh, where like I have this little kitchenette thing and right there if I hang it right there the sunlight comes into it during the day and it brightens everything up and when I wake up in the morning and I go to brush my teeth I'm gonna see it and when I'm getting ready to leave I'm gonna see it and when I get home I'm gonna see it and that is you know and I'm thinking about the way that I'm going to feel is looking at this this 
caricature that reminds me of myself that is flying higher, further, faster, that is so representative of the way that I want to live my life, you know, just I, I want to be that free. And so just getting that feeling of what it would feel like to put it on my wall and to wake up in the morning and to see it and to just know and to remember that moment in the museum when I first saw it and just instantly fell in love with it, just having all of that, that good, good feelings, right? And so, ding, it's in my vortex. It's going to happen now. Yeah. It's going to happen now. It's going to happen now. I'm going to find a way. And that's it. For higher, yeah. further, faster. Higher, further, faster. See, you watched that movie quite a bit. so I watched it movie. like five times <laughs> yeah, you in theaters. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's man. That's so funny. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. I have the uh, AMC. You know, I can go watch three movies a week, whatever. Um, and I, I looked at what was out there. Um, Dumbo and La Llorona and... Um, and you just wanted to go higher, further, I first. Just, I just wanted I to wanted watch Captain higher, Marvel further, again. Faster. <laughs> Whatever it is. Higher, further, faster. Higher, further, faster. Dude, I took your advice um, on the uh, Wait, hang on. meditation. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's for the record books. Look, it's on. <laughs> yeah, it's recorded. <laughs> uh, today, April 23rd at 7, 10 well, p.m. Well. <laughs> All right, let me throw a wrench in it. I applied your advice in the classroom. Oh. Not necessarily me. So, ah, okay. Remember, I, I remember I you told you it's yeah, like yeah, one yeah. of those things that I, I, for whatever reason, I do. I do it that way. Mm-hmm. I guinea pig everybody else mm-hmm. before I decide to go ahead. I'm yeah. going for it. So, anyways, I was in the classroom today, and uh, I knew I had a short lesson, so I was in. I was like, "What am I going to do to you know kill some time, but not have to start something brand new where I can just you know mm-hmm. continue on my one lesson for the day?" And I was like, "All right, um, I'm going to do this meditation thing." So I wrote up a, a couple questions that I was going to, a couple like, like a scenario that I wanted to walk them through while they were meditating. Mm-hmm. So I got the class and I was like, all right, guys, look, um, you guys are, I'm going to have you guys do something. It's different. It's not anything normal. It requires you guys to be peace and quiet, like absolute quiet. So I just want you to, you know, put, you know, fold your arms on your desk, put your head down. I want you to close your eyes until so I got them all to close their eyes. Right. And I was like, just focus on your breathing. I was like, find yourself in a quiet place. Picture yourself in that quiet place. All right, what does it look like? Is it in the mountains? Is it in the woods? Is it, you know, on the beach? You know, whatever it is. Is it daytime? Is it nighttime? You know, take a breath. What does it smell like? Can you smell the ocean air? Can you smell the woods? Can you smell the trees? Right? I, I, I'm walking them through this whole scenario. And then I'm like, all right. Um, the reason why you're in this quiet place, in this spot, is because you've already achieved achieved everything you've wanted in life Mm. you're 100 percent successful right you have money not an issue time you have a lot of it admiration everybody likes you you've achieved everything you want to and you're relaxed in this peaceful place i'm like now stand up you know visually right (laughs) now stand up and i want you to look at what you look like how are you dressed what do your shoes look like what color are they you know what? What are you, what clothes are you wearing? What name brand? What perfume perfume did you spray on yourself? Can you smell it? And I'm walking them through all these different things, and I'm like, okay, now you're gonna walk to your car because it's time to go home. What color is it? You know what? What kind of car is it? Is it a convertible? Is it a truck? You hop in the car, you can smell that new car smell. What kind of seats are you sitting in? What color are they? You know, can you smell the new car smell? You get in the car, you turn it on. You start going home. I was like, you're looking out your window. What kind of scenic route is it? Are you in the mountains? Is it a two-lane road? Are you in downtown? Where are you, you know, where are you going home to? And there it is. There's your house. There's your home. What color is it? What does it look like? When you're pulling up to the driveway, is it morning? Is it night? Is it lunch? What time is it? What's it look? You know, I'm just kind of visually. Mm-hmm. And the mm-hmm. class is silent. Like, absolute silent. And, you know, I, I have them walk in the house. I have them, you know, t- you know, think about what the ground looks like, what color are the walls, what does the front door look like, you know, everything, everything. Walk them to, you know, the bedroom, and then they can see a mirror, and they see themselves in the mirror, right? And it's kind of like, you know, the whole Tony Robbins thing. Yeah, yeah. And like, you know, now, now I want you guys to, and I had to, I hand them a piece of paper, and I was like, all right, I want you guys to, 
take that piece of paper I handed you and I want you just to write down everything, whatever you felt, whatever you saw, however um, you were, you, you know, describe where you were at, all these things. I just mm-hmm. want you to write it down. And like, dude, they ate it up. They loved it. Every single one of them was like, you know, I, I, I had one kid that wasn't even in the class at the time when we did it. Uh-huh. He came in with a pass a little while later. And the kid, one of the kids that, I mean, he didn't do anything in class. He just messes around the whole time. He's like uh-huh. one of those kids, right? Um, Me when I was young? Yeah. Or not worse, because he, he's a funny guy. He's a cool guy. He's just in class. He don't do anything, right? Yeah. So anyways, uh, the other kid comes in. He sits down next to him. He's like, oh, what did I miss? He's like, dude, we did this badass meditation thing. And the kid <laughs> looked at him like, the hell are you what? talking about? Yeah. <laughs> we did a like, what? <laughs> dude, it was so badass, man. <laughs> <laughs> But to have it, it, but you know, and, and to just to see them light up, like, dang! And and I told them, I'm not collecting it. It's for you. Yeah, it's for you to do this. And then we, I went into the whole, you know, the morning miracle thing about you know waking up a little bit earlier, do this every day. It's putting you in a, in a spot that you can go out there and succeed. That you can put your thoughts to paper. That you puts you in a position where now you're not just thinking about it, where the thought disappears. It's actually written down mm-hmm. and you can progressively work towards something. And you, you, I go, you know, how do you feel right now? You guys probably feel amazing. You know, they, they're like, Oh, I feel great. I feel amazing. Imagine starting every day off like that. Mm-hmm. Imagine getting your mindset like that. And now the world is, you know, nothing can stop you. Right. Yep. Faster, higher. What is it? I keep messing it up. <laughs> higher, further, faster, higher, further, faster. Higher, the further, two faster. <laughs> yeah. But that's... HFF. Higher, HF, further, faster. Higher, further, faster. So, like, it was really amazing to see these kids, like, you know... First of all, it was really amazing to get them all to be quiet at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> first of all. First of all. Right? Right <laughs> off the bat. But secondly, that they were able to pull something out of themselves that maybe they didn't know existed with themselves. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then to put it to paper and have it done. It has nothing to do with math. You know what I mean? has nothing to do with finance. It has nothing to do with math. It's just putting them in a position where now, if I asked a question about where they wanted to be, they were more than willing to share mm-hmm. their opinions because mm-hmm. they were confident. Yeah. They were ready to go. They, this is how I saw myself. This is where I'm going to be. So it was kind of, you know. Ding. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like finding that piece of art in the museum. Yeah. Something about it just like sets you off that puts you in that mindset of of ready to go Mm -hmm. i still believe i'm i still firmly believe that action is gonna is gonna be the differentiator for sure but at least maybe they're in a at least they know how to get themselves into a place yeah you know what i mean yep and so i asked them you know i was like hey this is something i want to do every single day for my students for next year you know we can make even do it for you guys if you want and they're like, hell yeah, this is awesome. This is great. Like, you know, puts you in the right spot. And it's only, you know, a couple minutes in the beginning of the period. But it's, it was different. It was cool to see all of them. Like, I'm talking about 35, 40 kids in a class in bo- multiple classes when I did it. Mm-hmm. And they all had a positive Every experience. single one. Every single one. That's awesome. Dude. Oh, it's, it's like meditation is a universal language almost. But, it's, you know what? I mean, it's, it's really the ultimate look in the mirror. Mm-hmm. Right. You're really, you know, uh, there was there was one thing that I, I don't remember where I heard it, where I saw it. Um, but they were talking about how they interviewed um, they, they took a sketch artist. Right. Mm-hmm. And they, they interviewed the women. Going. Yeah. Right. And the women uh, described themselves mm-hmm. and they drew the sketch. And then they had other people describe that same woman to mm-hmm. the sketch artist and they drew a sketch. And. The women never, they, they had a horrible image of themselves, mm-hmm. but other people, the other, the, the way other people described the sketch artist, they were beautiful. Yeah. Right. And that's kind of how we are internally. We don't see that in ourselves because we're always thinking of the negative part. Mm-hmm. I don't have enough. Mm-hmm. I don't make enough. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I'm struggling right now. I, you know, people, I can't believe this issue, this problem, this negativity that's in my life. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. the thing that they focus on. Mm-hmm. And, um, it's. It's what we see. We see the ugly in ourselves. Right. And so the ugly comes out instead of projecting, you know, and I, I've been called insensitive. You know, Rosie makes fun of me. She goes, you want asshole, you go to none. But it's because <laughs> I'm not, I, uh, I'm not sympathetic with people. Yeah. I have like almost zero sympathy. Empathy. I do have though. I understand what you're going through. Mm-hmm. Let me, let me help you out. Mm-hmm. But I'm not, I'm not going to be stuck in your problem. It's mm-hmm. not my problem. Right, right. You know what I mean? Let me help you get a solution. Here's a way out of your problem. Care, don't carry. Care, don't carry. Right? 
Yeah, exactly. And and that's and that's how I am, but but a lot of people want to take on the burden. Mm-hmm. Right? They want to carry the cross. Yeah. And, and yeah, definitely. And that's that I think is is detrimental to themselves. There's a way that you, you can that? help people. I was going to say you see that a lot in um, you know, in relationships, especially codependent relationships where uh somebody will get into a relationship with the idea of I'm going to fix this person. Yeah. So, and that's yeah. that's a big problem cuz people people don't dumb. change. Yeah. People, yeah. That, that's the but, worst idea. It, it, those of you listening out there, if you're out there in the dating world, don't try to fix nobody. But but this is part of <laughs> this is part of sales problems too. Because, sales problems too. Because people go out with the intention to sell a product, but if okay. you don't have the sales skill, in other words, if your if your core thing is sympathy, mm. you're never going to sell a thing because you're going to end up giving it away. Mm. You're going to end up dwelling on somebody's problem. You're going to find reasons and agree with them on why your particular product isn't a fit mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. you're being sympathetic instead of being empathetic, right? Where you're like, I get you have a problem. This is how we solve it. Right. Let's get through this. My product, service, whatever is going to help you better your situation. And As opposed to, uh, yeah, the, well, this is what we could do to help you. But, you know, I understand it costs a lot of money and, you know, I get it. You might not be in the position right. to actually you're, do this. So let me see if I can help you. To you're throwing yourself happen. off. Yeah. Like you've already you've already sold them on the reason why they're not going to need your particular, <laughs> your particular product yep. or service. And that that but to me that's a core thing. That's an individual core thing. You see these in people all the time. And and you know, I mean, we have family that's like that that's there to they try to take on the burdens of other people thinking they're doing, you know, the most they can to help these people when in fact if they were stop, if they could stop being sympathetic and start being empathetic, they could probably help hundreds more yeah. in the same manner. Yeah. But they can't. They, it's it's a. I don't know. For me, I I see it as a, it's an internal struggle. With people. makes sense. Yeah. No, I get that. I get that. Well, that's some deep stuff today. Yeah, I know, right? Jeez, deep, pretty deep conversation. All thanks to Captain America and uh, Captain free- Marvel. <laughs> yeah, sorry. See, Captain look Marvel. at you, man. Dude, I'm all messed up today. Where are you? I was watching Ant Man. I don't even know. <laughs> we call him Cat. So. We call him Cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But uh, speaking of which, we probably won't get another opportunity to talk about it because we've got interviews all lined up. But how excited are you for Saturday? Dude, super pumped. Yeah. I, I'm worried though because it comes out Thursday. I'm I am have some deleting. Punk kids. I am deleting. Oh no. I, I you're know in I'm high school. Have, yeah, I know I'm going to have some punk kids that are going to come to class. Well, you're safe on Thursday. Spoilers. It's on Friday. I know. Friday. Yeah. Friday's going to be the issue. Uh, la, 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 you know, la, you know la, what you do? La, la, you know what you do? <laughs> Spoil end game instant F. Ooh. Put it on the board. Ooh, I like that. Put it on the I board. Like that. But spoil end game instant F. But after the weekend, it's fair game. After the weekend, it's fair game. After the weekend, we can we can talk. Yeah. But prior to that, if you're the one kid who went to like the Thursday, midnight show, yeah, exactly. Don't ruin it. Don't ruin the end game. Exactly. PSA: Public service announcement. Announcement: Thanos still demands your silence. Don't spoil the end game. <laughs> superhero nerd dude. dude i am i i mean you know what I'm, i can't even say superhero nerd marvel and nerd. i can't even say marvel nerd or dc nerd or um comic book nerd it's literally the marvel cinematic universe it's the movies that started with the first iron man in 2008 and are continuing on until end game this weekend like that is my jam that is. That's my jam. I didn't read the comics as a kid. I watched some X Men and some Spider Man cartoons as a kid, but mostly they came out on Saturdays, and we weren't allowed to watch them because church or you know whatever. And you know, so I wasn't like huge, huge into comics growing up, but I liked them. But ever since, ever since Iron Man, that's well, that's been my jam. It's because they made it real ish. Right, it, it became yeah. it became something that you can see that it was a person that the CGI well, yeah. caught up. It was amazing. exactly the technology. Right? The yep. technology caught up. It was just movies today are amazing. Things like Dumbo, for example, dude. Right. I mean, think about the the effort. I had a, an emotional connection to Dumbo with the crows. Right. The crows. They were yep. amazing. They were awesome. They're not part of this new movie, but it's just a whole different a whole different world, mm-hmm. a whole different universe. A whole new world. But you saw an elephant fly. But I did see an elephant fly. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Yeah. I mean, that, that's what it's about, though. I mean, it's about it's about having fun doing the things you love to do, enjoying mm-hmm. the regular day, sending out those positive vibes, and yep. just being of service to other people, dude. That's and, it. And as a result, you get to watch all the movie, all the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies you want over and over again just because you can now. Just it. Just and because, because they're can. because they're there because it, see and that's the thing like you know, we're totally way off of anything business related by the way um, but that's the thing with you know what kids when we when we were kids uh, you know and our friends and in and, and our generation they were reading all those comic books and everything that they saw in the comic books back then they would never have seen in a movie they actually made a Captain America movie way back then did you know that no I didn't know that oh it was terrible. It was absolutely, absolutely horrendous. Just bad, all the way around bad. Uh, and it's because they just didn't have the technology that they needed to make Captain America what he should have been. But today, now, or the, or the unlimited Disney budget, or yeah, that too. Well, I mean, it wasn't. <laughs> it wouldn't have been Disney back then. But still, like, well, but now, saying, now they now they do. Yeah, yeah, that's, exactly. that totally makes a it. huge difference, dude. Anyway, I know we're we're we way skewed. off base here. We skewed way off base. But all of this to say that we are talking basically about mindset today, which is an interesting change of pace. Um, but this has been happening, I guess, a little bit the past couple of times that it's just been you and me. Yeah. Um, it's because I've been diving a little bit into it more. Because I've seen so many people, uh, so many successful people have put emphasis on it mm-hmm. that I would do myself a disservice not to learn it a little more. Mm-hmm. Right? And if I, if I learn about it, I try it. And it doesn't work, then pff, I was right anyways. And what? At least I, I was able to communicate at that level with other people who need that sort of stuff in their life. But if I tried it and it works and it does great, mm-hmm. it's a win. And then it's a win. It's a win, right? And that's that's a lot of that's a lot of what business is anyways. Mm-hmm. We're gonna try something, right? We have this idea, we have this strategy that we're gonna try. We want this result. Mm-hmm. We try it, and if it works, winner. Keep doing more of it. Mm-hmm. If it doesn't work, loser. You lost a little bit, but you learn and you try it again some other way or mm-hmm. you, you know, modify and adapt. That's it. Right? That's what it's all about. Yeah. And, and so to me right now, when we're doing that, these podcast series, I mean, we just talked to so many people. So many people have said, you got to do the Tony Robbins thing, right? Mm-hmm. You got to have the mm-hmm. morning miracle thing. Mm-hmm. You got to do meditation. Mm-hmm. It's all about mindset. It's all about vision boards, all about all these other things, which I've always been, I can't say against, but just like. It's not part of my daily routine. Yep. But if all of them are doing it and they've been successful, I would, I should at least take a look at it. Speaking of which, when we get done here, a uh, new friend sent me a vision board that she had created, mm-hmm. and I'm going to show it to you uh, after after we can sign off here. Ooh, it's pretty cool. Cool. If you guys are interested, he's probably going to take a picture and post it on social. Yeah, maybe with permission. With permission. Yeah, if, we'll if, if permission. I get if I get permission from uh, from my friend over there, uh, yeah, yeah, because some of those things are what people want to see, right? They want to yeah. see the you know. Okay, I've heard of a vision board. What does it look like? What is, what, what does is, this one look? What like? does this one look like? I'm yeah. interested to know like mm-hmm. what what sets you off. What's what's keeping you going higher, further, faster? Yeah, I mean, if I when I create my vision board, you're damn right that piece is gonna that be on is there. gonna be in there. Higher, further, faster. It will definitely be on there. Uh, this friend, there were there were things on there. There were some quotes on there. So, um, the one that stood out to me the most was uh, she cut out first time in history. Oh, what, what specifically? Anything? That's what you want for your life for the first time in history. Well, but for the first and time you. in your history. No, 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 no. For the first time in all of history. I don't know. That's, for the that's... first time in history. Bleh. Bleh. Whatever, whatever it is that you did, whatever it is that you created, whatever it is that drives you, that you're passionate about, whatever it is that you are doing, is, you know, for See, for her, it was it. it, it I, my, the way that I understood it is, she wants to do something that is first time in history that's never been done before. Take the Marvel Cinematic Universe for example, right? You go back to a lot of these different trilogies and saga type movies. Um, Harry Potter is probably one of the longest ones, over eight movies, right? Seven parts, eight movies. Uh, seven books, eight movies. And then you go back to before that, let's say Lord of the Rings. 
and then you go back to Star Wars, right? Each of these was over the course of how many years, you know? And there was, what, maybe three movies, right? Three, four, six, eight movies, whatever. This Marvel Cinematic Universe has been 11 years and 22 movies. That's because... <laughs> and it all culminates with this weekend. Well, yeah. Well, For the you first know what time they, in history. But you know what they did, right? What's they that? took a mini series that they would have played on TV, put big name actors, and made them two hour long. Okay, dude, you you can you can simplify it to that. But that's what they did. That's what kept you going. It's the same reason I why guess, we watch. But this is huge budget. This is not TV. No, no, Netflix no, 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 no. Of course, the budgets are are much bigger. Yeah, but the storylines are are. Fair Pretty enough. much just the same. We watch Game of Thrones in the same way. Yeah, you would yeah, watch yeah. Flash Game in of the Thrones same is way. One, yep. you, I mean, it's just the story loop that keeps going, right? So, they're just but, they're just trapping us in this little loop. And I bet you, the end game is gonna be the end game. No, no, no. I mean, there's a whole you know, but it's the end of this iteration of villainry heroes and villainry, especially right? specifically. So, yeah, yeah. So, I'm, but it's cool. It's what keeps us entertained. Yeah. Oh, but you're no. not entertained. <laughs> the whole point <laughs> of that, though, was you know, it's something that is making history. This this movie franchise, and on uh, my friend's vision board, it said for the first time in history. Which to me says that she wants to do something that is that marks history, something that people will remember for generations to come. Those are like epic, epic, epic things. These are these are the types of things that billionaires are created for. These are the types of you know these are massive movements. Where what's wrong with that? N- no, nothing wrong mean, with that. We talked about this uh, the other day. Where, where, where does your where does your imagination limit you? No, you're right. There is nothing wrong with that. It's just I, I don't know. For me, that's that's great. I prefer. I'm a much more simplistic point of view. I'm like that looks cool. I'm gonna do that. What he did or what she did. I'm gonna do exactly that way and do and be exactly at that level i'm cool with that right (laughs) so in other words on my vision board i probably would never have first time in history i'll be like he did it again oh nice (laughs) nice okay so and and that's why each person's each person's vision board is going to be different yeah for sure so i'm thinking of my vision board and and i um i think i will have more locations and Birds, elephants, things that I want to see, and like in life, in life, yeah. like like with your eyes, not like mm-hmm. on TV. Yeah, right. Yep. Yeah, places, yeah. Places I want to be. Places I want to go. Big difference between you and I. Uh huh. All right. Uh, so uh, I don't think we promote what we're supposed to do every time at the beginning of the show. So we no, nah, we can always cut it at the beginning though. Now nah, we'll just throw it at the end here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> 365 pairs of shoes. It's just a reminder, 365 pairs of shoes by the end of the year. We've appreciated all the donations so far. Uh, reminder, we're looking for some closed uh, toe shoes, gently used shoes so that we can give the homeless. Looking um, more at like walking shoes, tennis shoes. Again, remember these are for the homeless. Um, so we really want to make sure that they're going to be comfortable in any weather. 619-884-0045 or james at csfirst.com. Let them know he'll hop on a bike, get over there and pick it up. By the way, if you're looking to add insurance into your line of business, whether you own a tax office, you own a mortgage office, or you have some sort of business, maybe a bookkeeping or something like that, uh, if you're interested in adding insurance to your repertoire, uh, hit James up, james at csfirst.com or 619-884-0045. And if you would like to be on the podcast, let me know, Hernan at csfirst.com, 619-884-4915. We also would love your uh, questions, uh, your interactions on social. So you can find us at Business Bros Pod. That's Facebook at Business Bros Pod. That's Twitter at Business Bros Pod. Or that's Instagram at Business Bros Pod. Either way, we want to hear from you. And uh, make sure if you do send us a friend request to uh, give me a little thumbs up when I send you a video DM, which you should be using yourself to talk to your clients and 
increase the engagement that you're getting, building that relationship with them. But in the meantime, that's all we got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe conversation. <laughs> and the mindset conversation. And the mindset conversation. Most, it was mostly mindset. We, it was. We, yeah, it we was. got into the MCU kind of at the end, but you know. Still. Whatever. All cool. right, guys. That's all we got for you guys today. Peace. Bye-bye. And I'm out.